Hello, this is Mr. Britton from Britton Computer Tech Tutorials. Uh, this is part two of how to create quick slots in a maze game. So in part one I showed you how to uh, uh, collect the hit points, uh, hit point potions, and then how to uh, press the one key to activate them to regain your full hit points. So one thing that I mentioned that I forgot to mention in the first one is in my create event I set up four variables. Um, in a previous tutorial I showed you how to set up the boy's current hit points. I called it boy HP. I gave it a value 30 uh, relative not checked any of these. And then the boy's maximum hit points also needs to be a variable. So I called it boy max HP and the value is boy HP. So since you put 30 for boy HP, your maximum HP is now 30 as well. Now, the next thing I did is I set the, my uh, set of variable boy energy to 30 as well, and I also have a boy max energy, and I'll use that in, a, in part three. Now, how do I get the quick slots to be drawn at the bottom? And I used a, another object called a, I called it controller underscore quick slot. It has no sprite. And in the create event, I set up my two global variables. Uh, called global.hppots and to start the game you don't have any hit point potions in your quick slots and you don't have any global energy you don't have any energy uh, potions in your quick slot as well here's how you draw it what I did is I had a draw event and the first thing I do is I draw the sprite for my uh, hit point potion and I draw it at a position of 256, 448. Don't check relative. I also draw the uh, energy pot at 288, 448. And that's the blue potion. And that's so you know what each quick slot does. I then set my color to black. And I draw four different rectangles. One of them is at 256, 448, 288, 479. And what that is basically doing is at the bottom of my room, in these positions, it's going to draw those uh, rectangles, which are going to be filled with either potions or, in the case of three and four, it'll actually have skills that you can use. Uh, and the skills will use up some of your energy. That's my idea. So I drew four rectangles. The second one has these numbers. The third one basically increases by 32 each time because I'm using 32 by 32 pixels uh, they're all outlined they're not filled so make sure you select fill or outlined instead of filled and go through and you put in all those different numbers just add 32 to each one so it, it draws the rectangles progressively to the right the next thing I did is I have to draw the value of my global hit points so I draw the a variable and that's found in the control tab right here that's called draw variable it looks very similar to set variable but it's a little bit different color drag that in the value variable is global dot hp pots the position is 267 460 relative not checked you gotta kind of play with these numbers to get it positioned in the right spot that's how I did it on mine and then you also draw the value, the value of the variable global dot energy pots at in my case 299460 and you'll have to kind of play with those uh, to get those in the right spot the best way to do it is to actually go to your room and look to the bottom and you have your x value 64 y value 448 and you'll notice that those will change when you put your mouse in a different spot so I made sure my snap x and snap y's are both 32 by 32 and that allows me to kind of determine where my X and Y values are for those particular areas. So thank you very much for watching. And if you need more help, uh, uh, comment on my videos and I can help you. Thank you very much.